Did you know that I was homophobic? Well, I didn't know that. Twitter told me that. So right now, I'm getting, uh, getting attacked on Twitter, my favorite place, everybody's favorite place. And I'm excited, man. I've been waiting to get in some controversy. I've, I, I've been waiting for some drama. I feel like Kendrick Lamar right now. At least I'm not Drake, but I'd like to compare these people to Drake. I made this tweet 9, 12 a.m. this morning. Bro. I don't know why, but I just saw some posts about the whole Bakugo Dekugu Dekugu Bakugo Deku shipping shit, and I kind of get some of the MHA fandom hate now. The shit is weird. Thank God I stay away from fandoms, and I just enjoy the shows. So you know what posts I saw? I saw posts of Bakugo and Deku dicking each other down, squirting all over the place, kissing each other. I saw some pictures of Ochako and Endeavor making out. Literally a child and a grown-ass adult. I saw some pictures of All Might and Deku making out. This shit is weird to me. I stumbled or I, I fell into the abyss, the hole that I'd like to call the MHA Twitter Stan shipping fandom. The weirdos. Oh, they did not like that. No, 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 no. They did not. Let's see some quote tweets. Local man finds out about gay people and gay ships. More at 11. Being proudly homophobic in 2024. Yikes. Is MHA your first baby fandom? No wonder your K-pop reaction life fell off. Oh yeah, well, my K-pop life fell off. But then I became an anime channel. And now I'm living the life of my dreams. So fuck you and fuck K-pop. Got some funny replies under my tweet. You know, uh, Bakugo acting like a little furry and uh, uh uh deku petting on him you know beautiful beautiful little children love right here i love it i know we're not supposed to do quirky eugenics but imagine your gravity endeavors kids quirks i feel like a chaco and ng could make some seriously esoteric gravity heat controls oh my So this is when I'm getting canceled over talking about shit like this. I'm sorry, but if you want to cancel me over saying something about this, you could eat my ass. So now I want to show you basically where it all started, right? This person replied to me saying, just a thought, but maybe since you're a popular YouTuber with a large following, maybe you should have passed harsh judgments just because you yourself don't prefer it. You have no idea if you've just insulted people in your audience that make it possible for you to do the reactions you prefer and it's really unbecoming to see someone who profits off people's art be so callous and cruel to small time artists do better. You have a platform to spread kindness and empathy. You're wasting it with remarks like this. I also have a platform to say fuck off. This person, by the way, um, is shipping Deku and, uh, uh, Bakugo, let's see their profile real quick. 29 years old. That's all I have to see. Shout out to your boy Rock Lee, by the way. This is what he says. It would be a betrayal to everyone who followed him to this point to stop being himself. He has a large following of people who want to hear his thoughts. I don't always agree, but at least he's genuine and I know the person. Imagine a larger people follow for you, then you get big and deny them the very reason they are here. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. I'm not here to be anyone else but myself. I will forever speak my mind, my opinion. I'm a very opinionated person. I've always been. When I was doing K-pop reactions and pop reactions, I wasn't allowed to be myself because if I was myself, I wouldn't have a career. And honestly, I wanted a career. I wanted money. So I told myself down. I was very simple. I was very not myself. I wasn't me. And that's what that audience liked. The second I was me is the second they all fucking left. Now that I do anime, I'm able to be myself. I'm able to speak my opinion. And I found a huge audience that actually respects and loves me for that. A lot of people leave. A lot of people join. To the people that leave, go and find somebody else. I'm not going to subscribe or follow somebody that I don't like as a person. You know what I mean? But to the people that stay, that's who I'm here for. They know how I am. They know who I am. I'm not here to change. I'm not here to say what you want me to say. I'm not here to be your puppet. I'm not afraid to speak my mind. Controversial subjects that a lot of YouTubers or personalities are afraid to touch on because it will alienate, alienate their audience. I don't care. I simply don't care. And if you want to cancel me, whatever. <laughs> I've been canceled like three, four times, and I'm still here. I'm still almost about to hit a million subscribers, making over 100K views per day. People watch me for me. Do they watch you? No, they don't give a fuck about you. This isn't about homophobic, right? I'm not homophobic. 
Don't use those buzzwords on me. Don't use those Twitter words on me, all right? Nowadays, everybody's homophobic. Everybody's racist. Everybody's sexist. Everybody's transphobic. This phobic. This is. This, that, that, that. Everybody is something nowadays. And the second you use that wording is the second I stop taking you serious. And I tell you to go check into a fucking mental asylum. All I'm here to do is to make the content that I want to make. Be myself have fun, and hopefully make people smile. And I seem to be doing a great job at that because a lot of people watch my videos. A lot of people talk to me every single day saying that I make their day, that I make them smile, that I make them laugh. If I make you sad, if I offend you, just unsubscribe from me. Just block me, just unfollow me. It's simple as that. I'm not gonna follow somebody that I, that I see like that. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. But nowadays on Twitter, nowadays in this world, we have to constantly complain about shit. We have to constantly make everybody agree with what we agree with. We have to make everybody think the way that we think. We have to make everybody speak the way we want them to speak. We have to be these uh, ventriloquists. We, everybody has to be a fucking puppet. And I'm not going to be your puppet. I'm sorry. I'm always going to speak my mind. And if you have a problem with that, fuck you. Stand on your shit. Don't let these Twitter pussies try to guilt you with all this cancel culture nonsense shaking my head. Convince these people would have an aneurysm if they were ever in a COD lobby in the early 2000s. Exactly, bro. If they hit a COD lobby back in the 2000s, forget about it. They wouldn't be here a minute later. They'd be crying on the microphone and those people in that COD lobby would annihilate them even more. I'm from a different generation. This generation is trying to lecture me that's trying to point me in the direction that they want to point me in that they're in that want me to think the way that they think they don't know me they they don't know that i don't fuck with that that's not me that will never be me i've been waiting i've been waiting to talk some shit like this bro it feels good to let loose but um yeah man uh so i'm gonna continue doing what i want to do i'm gonna continue saying what i want to say and if you have a problem with that it doesn't matter you know why because i'm here to stay and you can't do anything about that. I'm going to continue watching anime. I'm going to continue talking shit. I'm going to continue making money, traveling the world, having the best life that I can, that I never even imagined having. And you can't do anything about it. And I hope that pisses you off. Sayonara.